well, NMO stands for New Motorola. Basically, it's what you would see on police vehicles, for example, where the antenna would be mounted on the trunk. Um, usually it's when you drill a hole directly in the roof or the deck lid. However, it's also used in uh, standard uh, lip or hatchback mounts. Uh, UHF mounts are also used for dual band antennas. They could also be used for certain HF screwdrivers, but really I wouldn't say one is better than the other necessarily. A lot of times you're going to choose a mount based on the kind of antenna you have. If you don't want to drill a hole in your vehicle, you could go with a lip or a hatchback style mount for your dual band antenna or even HF screwdriver. Sometimes when installing a mobile mount, there is the potential that it's going to uh, damage the paints uh, where the set screws you know, under the deck lid go through. Oftentimes I'll get a call, somebody wants to install a mobile antenna, but every possible solution doesn't want to work. So that's where glass mount antennas can be effective. They may not be the best performer, but you're not going to damage your paint. It would stick typically on the rear uh, window of the vehicle and uh, as long as there's no rear defoggers in the way or window tint, they can be effective. Well, most mobile antennas for VHF and UHF are going to be NMO or UHF style mount. So if you're unsure of determining which one you have, uh, oftentimes we'll have the customer go to the website and look at a certain type of antenna. We'll give them the model number and from there, they can determine if it's an NMO or a UHF.